Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Alluring Shema. I am Kenjil if you are new here. So today we are reviewing this newly launched product from Nika. It's their Wing in a Blink Eyeliner Pen. You guys know I'm a big eyeliner freak and when I saw it, I was like I have to review it and of course share it with you guys. I get so many questions related to wing eyeliners that how to do a perfect wing eyeliner and my wing is never matching and perfect. So I thought this product can be the savior for so many girls. So let's just try it if it is worth it or not. So review pattern will be the same. We'll talk about price, packaging, application, formula, claims and also I'm going to do a wear test of this product. So stay tuned till the end of the video to check it out. Also all the timestamps is given in the description box. So jump off to any category of your choice and enough blabbering. Let's just get into the video. This eyeliner pen retails for 549 rupees and you get 2.5 grams of product but I got 10% discount because I bought it on first day and they had some first day launch day offer on this product. When I saw this product launching on Nykaa's Insta stories, I was really excited and I was hoping that it should be between 300 to 350 rupees. But when I saw the price on Nykaa website, I was like, oh, that's a bit more. I know it's okay in comparison to other brands. But if I look at it as a teenager or a school going girl or a beginner, then uh, this can be the solution to my eyeliner issues. But due to this price, I might not be able to buy it. People will say, oh, you get a really good quality of product. That's why it's expensive. I can understand a good quality products can be expensive. But as a consumer, I will hesitate to buy it due to its price, despite having huge crush on wing eyeliner. <music> in a cardboard box like this a full matte black and the fonts is pink and white so it looking very beautiful and all the details is given in the back side so the actual pen looks like this it has wing in the blink return in bold letters it has two sides on one side there is a stamp for a wing which looks like this and on the other side there is a normal pen tip liner so on this stamp size there is a two tap uh, cap security given so it will not easily open up in your bag and on the pen side there is only single security but it's still good like it will not open easily otherwise it's very lightweight so you can just throw it in your bag and just go out it is a matte formula but not completely matte like it has a little bit of shiny effect to it when the light reflects on your eyeliner but it is jet black and it dries down very quickly which is yay because I hate those liners which takes ages to get dry and you just need to sit like this with a closed eye and wait for it to dry. <laughs> Die actually. <laughs> Some eyeliner feels a bit heavy on your eyelids but it's not such a case in this one. It's very lightweight. It's not very liquidy also like it has a perfect thickness to it and not at all that runny or liquidy consistency. So let's start with stamp side. When I press the stamp, it gives a good output without any pressure or so. I have applied it with very light hand. The stamp size is also perfect. It's not a big bold wing. It's a perfect regular and everyday kind of a wing. Basically, it gives you a medium size of wing and on the other side, the tip is very slim and pointy so you can create a thick line also a very thin line. It will completely depend on the pressure of your hand and I really love both the side of the tip of this liner. So that was swatch on hand but obviously I will apply it on my eyes. So as you can see it's very easy to apply this stamp. Just make sure where you want to apply it and press the stamp. I must say it gives you a very neat and tidy stamp Finish of the stamp is very clean. It's as good as when a pro do a wing eyeliner. And then you just need to draw a line attached to the wing to your eyelid. Again on the inner side you can apply a good thin eyeliner with the tip. And you can also apply a very thick bold eyeliner with the tip. I'm pretty impressed with the wing it gives and the line too. 
because it's very sharp and clean and as I said it gives a very medium size of wind so it's good for college, office or your everyday use and by applying it a bit more thick you can definitely give it a bold and very out loud look. Also, yes, it will definitely make your life easier because it's very easy and convenient to do a wing with this one. So if you are a beginner or someone who struggles a lot with a wing liner, this is for you. Let's talk about claims. So they say it's smudge proof. I'm smudging it very hard and yes, it is smudge proof. In hands, but in eyes, we will check it during my uh, wear test. Also, it's transfer proof. Yes, it dries down pretty quickly, so it is transfer proof. So they say it has an intense pigment. Yes, it is pigmented. As you saw, I did a many stamps and the pigment is just perfect. Like It gives a good amount of product in all the stamps. And lastly, waterproof. When I just poured a water on it, it didn't came off, it didn't slightly even came off. But when I started rubbing it, then also with only a little pressure only it came off, which is a very good thing, but it's not completely waterproof. If you ask me, I really like this kind of product which comes off with water when you just rub it. Because I apply eyeliner on everyday basis and it's such a task if it doesn't come off very easily. It's vegan, vegetarian. Paraben free, no animal testing, so obviously all this is good. So that was claims. I also did wear test of this product. Yes, I wore it for the whole day to check how it performs. So let's just look into that. Hi guys, so today is wear test day. I just got ready for my office. Today is ethnic day in my office. That's why I'm all glammed up. And my shift timing is 2 to 11. So I'll give you timely update regarding this. Right now it's 1.30 and I have applied this wing in a blink eyeliner. I must say it gave me a little bit trouble with the wing. The stamp was not perfectly stamping to the liner, to the wing. But other than this, the line and everything is perfect. And it is looking good right now. And I'll give you a timely update as I said as the day passes. So stay tuned for it. Hi guys, so it is 6 p.m. right now and my liner is pretty fine, like it has not smudged or anything. It's pretty intact. I hope you can hear me. It's been 4 hours that I have applied. It has not even lightened a bit, so it's pretty fine. Hi guys, so I'm back from office and it's around 11.25. I have 2 to 11 shift timing. So I came home right now and the condition of eyeliner is this like it has chapped off in the middle but not that much it's still pretty fine the condition is pretty intact like I have applied it at 1.30 and right now it's 11.25 so still it's very perfect oops so it's pretty fine like it's not smudged at all or not chapped off at all so I'm impressed by the longevity of this liner so let's conclude this video by pros and cons and let's start with positivity I mean by pros it's very lightweight it's very lightweight on your eyes application is very easy stamp size is also perfect and if you are a beginner it will definitely help you but if you are pro at a wing eyeliner it might not impress you. It dries down pretty quickly which is definitely a pro. Packaging is also good like as I said it's lightweight and also the cap is very secure and all. Pigmentation is also good. It's like very dark and jet black. Also it has not smudged so it is long lasting. Then it's not up to that mark of waterproof but Still, I'll say it's good because I don't want uh, that much waterproof uh, product on my eyes that I need to rub it to take it off. So that was pros and let's continue with cons. So first will be definitely price. It's a bit higher than what I expected and that what I thought it should be. So the price is definitely a con for me. Another con uh, definitely I would like to mention that when in the afternoon I was applying this eyeliner especially when the stamp I was applying it was not properly stamping the wing like it was coming till only halfway so I have a little bit problem with this one that if it dries down 
then I don't think so it will give a proper stamp or a proper wing. Even though I tried stamping it few times on my hand and it was working perfectly. But when I applied it on my eyes in the afternoon, it was not properly stamping. So that can be the issue for you. But I'm still not sure is it because it dried down or it's something else. But yeah, that is definitely a con for me if the stamp is not perfectly stamping a wing to my eyes. And that's it for the pros and cons. Now it's up to you if you want to invest in this product or not. But yes, I will definitely recommend this to those who struggles a lot with wing eyeliner. This will definitely help. I think I have covered almost everything regarding this eyeliner but still if you have any query or questions you can comment down below or you can DM me on Insta also. I hope this video is helpful and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't and also press the bell notification so that you get notified every time I come on YouTube. Also share this video with your friends and family who has wing eyeliner troubles in their life. I will see you soon with one more informative video. Till then, bye bye.